Hi, this is Anfisa from Retina Coach, and today I'm going to talk about gas dilution techniques in retinal detachment surgery. The most common types of gas used in vitreous detachment surgery are sulfur hexafluoride, SF6, perfluoropropane, C3F8, and hexafluoroethane, C2F6. In this video, I will focus on SF6 and C3F8 gases. When used undiluted, for example, in pneumatic retinopathy, all gases have different expansion abilities. However, during retinal detachment surgery, since the vitreous cavity is completely filled with gas, non-expensive concentrations should be used. Excessive gas concentration in the eye can cause marked expansion of the gas bubble and significant elevation of eye pressure. Studies showed that the non-expensive concentration of SF6 is around 20% and C3F8 is 12 to 14%. To create a needed concentration of gas for injection, first pure gas should be aspirated and then diluted with room air. There are a few techniques for non-diluted gas aspiration. The first technique consists of using a vitrectomy system. There are vitrectomy machines where gases are stored in tanks connected to the back part of the vitrectomy machine. When the type of gas is selected on the monitor, after syringe insertion, the vitrectomy system automatically pumps the undiluted gas into the syringe through the filter. Afterward, the syringe with pure gas is disconnected from the vitrectomy machine and room air is added to dilute the gas. The second technique consists of direct aspiration of pure gas through the filter from a one-ton aluminum gas cylinder and then its dilution with the room air. While preparing gas for injection, it's recommended to use a filter during aspiration to prevent contamination. Some surgeons, for extra safety, switch to an additional filter before injecting the diluted gas into the eye, as you can see in this video. Appropriate dilution calculation of gas is crucial for good endotamponate. If gas has a lower concentration than needed, and the tamponade will be less effective. If gas has a higher than needed concentration, its expansion can cause significant elevation of intraocular pressure and complications connected with that. Some vitrectomy systems provide a gas mix ratio guide to calculate the correct dilution for the desired gas. The guide shown here is based on a 60cc syringe. Different concentration of final gas can be chosen, and according to this, the guide provides information about the pure gas volume that should be left in the syringe before air aspiration. Dilution formula can be used when the gas mix ratio guide is unavailable. According to this formula, start concentration multiplied by start volume is equal to final concentration multiplied by final volume. In other words, to get a start volume, we need to multiply the final concentration by the final volume, and this number should be divided by the start concentration. For example, we are planning to inject into the eye 60 cc of 20% SF6 at the end of the retinal detachment repair case, and currently we have a 60 cc syringe filled with a 100% gas. To calculate how to dilute the gas, we need to multiply the final concentration, which is 20%, to the final volume, which is 60 cc and then to divide this number by start concentration, which was 100%. So we will get 12 cc. Thus, to get 20% gas concentration using a 60 cc syringe, push the plunger to 12 cc and then retract to 60 to aspirate air. The advantage of using this formula is that you can calculate the mix ratio for any gas concentration and volume of the syringe. More videos are available on our YouTube channel and retinacoach.com website. If you like this video, push the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments with suggested topics for future videos. Thank you for your attention.